remnant from the ashes. We'll just go ahead and bring that up. There we go. And uh, I think a, uh, a game capture. Bing. Full screen. That way you guys will be able to have the optimal quality for it, obviously. Those so, Probably should have done this before I started streaming, huh? <laughs> God. Okay. Go ahead and pop this sucker down below my camera. There we go. About a thing. Perfect. We're all set. So yeah, we got both the DLCs. And uh, I haven't played this game since it originally came out. This is the only uh, other Souls-like that I've actually beaten. Um... Yeah, it just normally doesn't happen for me. Nor normally, when I play as Souls-like, it just never ends up being completed. Also, I gotta fix my... Close enough. Uh, but yeah, I've, uh, th this is the only one that I've like gotten a full experience out of. Uh, there there's lots of good Souls-likes out there, but this one, for some reason, was able to, you know, dig in, and I, I, I really ended up enjoying it. So I'm back with it, and uh, we're going to play with the, my main character here, because uh, the, the, the way this game scales, it's not like you have builds. It's more like you have unlocks, and you, you want to build up your unlocks and eventually get everything. That is, so it's, it's, it's basically like, um, <clears throat> you, you could think of it kind of like a Crash Bandicoot type game, or, uh, no, that, that's not right, not Crash Bandicoot. It's, it's like a giant world exploration game, and it's a collect-a-thon, but the things that you collect are actually useful. Uh, so it's, it's, it's cool. I like it. And, and it's, it's also got some roguelike elements and it's got, uh, procedural generation. So the world changes as you go. Um, it, it's cool. I like it. And there, there's like a bunch of different modes. Um, uh, we'll, we'll be showing off the survival mode and we'll also be going into the main campaign on max difficulty, which should be fun. Um, I, I've been playing a little bit in my off time, uh, to, to improve and get myself ready for this. And, uh, yeah, I, I am definitely prepared, I think, to take on whatever challenge awaits me. So, yeah, um, we, we've got this new guy over here. Uh, he's pretty cool. Basically, he sells, like, armor pieces and all sorts of cool shit. And you want to you talk to me? Thank you. He can't actually talk because he, his tongue got cut out or something. And, uh, yeah, now, now we got to do it the old-fashioned way by, by scribbling, apparently. Um, so yeah, these are all just, like, armor skins. They, they don't actually grant you anything extra, I don't believe. And, um, th these are, like, the real prizes, these things here. So we're, we're saving our glowing fragments for those. We get, we get glowing frag fragments occasionally from, like, boss kills, and, um, the roguelike mode just hands them out like candy. So if we want to farm some of those, then we'll probably end up doing that. But, uh, yeah, my current build seems to be a little bit silly it's not it's it's not using bleed but it's it's got like bleed centric stuff down here we're gonna be going into the first biome so um i don't know i don't really want to know what i want to do let's just take a peek at this thing i've never used it before looks kind of sick let's go ahead and level it up it looks kind of freaking awesome um my my, I, my secondaries are like way far behind most of my primaries something i gotta work on but uh, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Just mess around with it. Hello. All right. So we're we're gonna go ahead and go into our weapons, and we're gonna be trying out the Defiler today because it's a weapon that I've never used. I've got crap tons of Luminite crystals, so we can get it up to plus nine. We need a Luminite crystal to get it to max, which is always a pain in the ass. But that's just how this game is. It's just like, oh yeah, you want the cool thing, and you want it max level? Good luck with that. Good luck with that whole max level thing. I'm gonna get my World Breaker up to plus 9 as well. That way I might be a little bit more incentivized to use it. I haven't really done too many melee builds at all in this game. They tend to not be very rewarding, which is a shame. Um, it, it, it's, it's just a simple matter of, like, why would you take a bunch of damage getting close to an enemy? And, like, having to walk over to them. and uh, Rather than just, like, sh you shoot them a couple times and then they die and you're at no risk. Uh, basically, the reward of melee is, like, not really there. But it, it, it's it's still a thing. Also, I gotta move my camera. How are you doing, Gray? Welcome on in. Hope you are well today. 
Uh, we're, we're mixing things up. Also, is my is my paint properly sized? It looks like. So I'm I'm gonna just make sure my camera is in the right spot. Be like around here, I think. Um, it's a little bit high. Is here? There we go. That's not bad. Not too shabby. All right. Um. So yeah, we we've got the particle accelerator, which I don't think I'm gonna use. How are you doing, Keith? Welcome on in. Um. I don't know, what, what should I use as my other weapon for now? Ricochet rifle has been a lot of fun lately. I've been messing around with that a bunch. Um, last exam of the year today. Nice. It's, it's, it must be, it must feel good to get it out of the way. We'll, we'll use the assault rifle for now. And uh, we'll just slap on a, um, I don't know, what do we want? I, I think bleed is really good. I've been liking these have fan and knives a lot. Uh, hang on. My my chat is like broken. Not the the whole chat is on chat. Why why is this happening? Hang on. Please hold. I I see something Noita related. Kind of glad not to see Noita. Is that what I saw? Here we go. Um. Everything's, like, going off-screen. What's going on with this? I might have to relaunch my OBS. It's being all fucky. Um, yeah, I, I gotta relaunch my OBS. Give me one second. I apologize. I apologize. I'll be right back. Uh, and boop. <laughs> 